Good morning, wherever you are. Let's not waste any time and go straight into Minecraft. I have been sick for about a week. And that's not the only reason why I didn't upload, but it's one of the reasons. Having a little bit of tea to soothe my throat. Either way, while we're waiting for getting into the world, you guys should subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, so I was thinking we're going to continue. Well, I kind of promised last time. And we're going to continue the talk about uh, the idol concert that I went to. Uh, I still have a couple notes that I want to get through. And, but first of all, and but. <laughs> Let's have a little sleep. All right. So my friend Tilo, he's a hardcore Minecraft. He loves the Minecrafts. He just, you know, it's it's like it's his thing. And so he he wants a bit more hard hitting gameplay. You know, he's like he's been he's bored about me running around and stuff like that, just talking about stuff nonsense. To be quite honest, right? Like, why am I even talking? Get to the point, bro. That kind of thing. Uh, so, he's right about this, of course, like, uh, my gameplay needs to be somewhat improved. It's already, like, at almost a professional level, but <laughs> it can always be better. Uh, and what I am going to do now is going to give myself a little bit more of a goal in terms of Minecraft, which will, for now, be acquiring, requiring acquiring a lot of resources let me see uh, we're probably not gonna get into lava lava um but what i need to do because i'm going to get a lot of a lot of wood is to get um axes do you need for axes Stone, maybe iron Definitely sticks. Let's see. Right. Okay. So I'm going to just create a bunch of axes. And then just just go go ham on making well acquiring wood. That's my first thing. And then I'm going to as a secondary goal, which the wood will uh, help with. I'm going to build a nice little storage shed. That's our minecrafting goal. Okay. So, let's see, where was I? I was, oh yeah, I was talking about the people that were at the concert, which uh, have this image of being like kind of weirdo otaku of, which there definitely were some, but I mean, there were also a lot of normal people, I would say. From my point of view um all right there we go what i did notice though, oh bad at this game all right what i did notice though is that there were almost no women i would say like about 1 20th of the audience were women and they seem to be into it uh, those that were there at least Let's see, that's a bit right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean a stone axe should be more than enough for, for wood, right? Like it's a bit slower, I guess, than a iron axe, but we have we have time, right? We're here to relax. We're here to build a storage shed. And we didn't set a time limit for that, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay. Look! Look how much wood there is over there. And that's, that's we're going to we're going to devastate the environment here, and there's not going to be any wood unless we plant some again, or it automatically plants. I actually don't know how this game works. So, ooh, that was almost dangerous, but we survived. It's okay. Yeah. So, um, there were some women, but it was mostly men. It was mostly kind of like eccentric-looking men. I mean, I guess like the the kind of mean stereotype is like, oh, it's these these 
stinky unwashed guys. <laughs> uh, which I don't know. I mean, nothing smells as far as I could tell. Um, not to make it too visceral. Then let me see. Uh, the thing that is kind of different about these uh, idol concerts, though, than like other concerts that I went to, is like it's it's much more based on parasocial relationship, right? Like there's kind of an idea of accessibility to the performers, which um, is enhanced by actually being able to 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 meet them, which I will talk about later. But even during the performance, um. So the singing and stuff is is not really center stage. I would I would say um that the, the music is perfectly serviceable, right? It sounds and sounds good enough. It's like mostly pop fair, I would say. Um but even even then like the mix is kind of like it was not really highlighting particularly great singing or anything like that. It's not it's not really about that the band is is like in the background they're just like you know performing with it um i mean i might be offending people with that accusation uh but yeah i, I would say like the music is much more there to facilitate the uh, parasocial relationship or the i mean i'm not sure if everyone knows what a parasocial relationship is it's, it's basically like a one-sided relationship where you are um, where one person um, has feels like they have a relationship with like a really like some sort of creator or artist, um, but the other person really doesn't know them or doesn't have like the same kind of um, interaction. It's kind of like an interesting, very very modern uh, way of interaction. It's much much more common now. And I would say it was back then, especially yeah, back then, it's like just random back in the past. Uh, especially because before celebrities were not very accessible, I would say. Like they were like in magazines, but we did know they were like kind of far away. But now there's like, you know, micro celebrities that are like, you know, on, on social media, you can interact with them. Um, even just in general, not just in idol culture, but, but, but idol culture, it's even more apparent like you know you you kind of you're told much more about their well you're not really told about their personal life so much but there's like an a simulation of a personal life or a personal interest uh and for commercial value like you know i mean a lot of k-pop bands do like there's this very specific things like oh this person likes this and that and like you know likes broccoli dislikes bunnies that's very unlikely combination but um that's kind of the the thing that would be maybe highlighted to kind of create a a, a bond i would say like where you're like oh i like this one he he also likes my hobby of i don't know fishing or racing fish which uh, i've uh, i think is actually a thing that one of mine told me uh, it's a hobby of someone in a K-pop band. And obviously, like, it's it's manufactured. Um, I, I mean, I don't know how aware everyone is of this, but generally, and I, and I know some people who are kind of in that industry, and they, they will tell you it's like it's sort of decided by committee. You know, like, you, you're going to be, I don't know, the the sexy feminine one you're going to be the the delinquent or something like that and then you have to play that role as the performer obviously it's not maybe maybe it's already a role you have like cultivated in some other way or something like that but it's it's not like super genuine i would say it it reminds me very much of this book i read i think did i mention this last time you and your profile um it's it's a really good book it's by this um philosopher in Macau, I think I might have mentioned it, but yeah, you should read this book. Maybe I should just make a a video about it sometime. Um, I'm, I'm, I really like his work. He's also on YouTube, um, and writes interesting books. And he is into Nicholas Luhmann, who I am also into because he has an interesting view. Well, 
um he has this very interesting view about how it is organized and interact with each other uh either way uh there's there's definitely what you could call like profile creation where it's more important to um know how you are seen and what what you what kind of image you create not so much an authentic thing but like something that can be in some way consumed i mean that's that's basically what i particularly notice about these kind of things is how commercial they are right like how everything is based on selling things in a very specific way and there's also like a lot of competition between uh between the band members for like who is the best selling one who has the most fans and a lot of the their payment is based on how how much um they can sell which is uh, i mean very interesting kind of you know like somewhat messed up incentives and like a lot of people in these groups go basically like without any money it's like basically then a hobby or something like that sorry i got a cough <laughs> Okay, well, I think that was completely um, hurt by the microphone. <laughs> that wasn't great. Uh, we're shielding that. I think we talked about it before, how I have a mute button, but clearly I'm not good at using it. Well, either way, so the, the economics of... But is it dark already again? Didn't I just sleep? Stay away? Okay, let me just... I don't want to... Um, I do not want to up wood in the dark. Looks so nice, right? Like we got a little bit of the Oh I love the sunsets here. It is so good. And it's also like look um blue red. That's kinda cool. It is kinda cool. I mean uh yeah. I'm just trying to get to my bed right now, which is what I should be doing actually. Instead of uh, playing Minecraft, I should be lying in bed and recovering. Perhaps uh, I'm okay. I'm I'm getting better, getting better <laughs> despite what you just <laughs> heard of me coughing out my lung. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so the the economic aspects of this are very interesting and kind of like very exploitative, obviously. Hello, horsey, and good. Very good, very good. That was good Minecrafting. I'm very proud of myself. <clears throat> we survived that one. Didn't even see any zombies or anything. This looks nice. Probably somewhere here I'm going to make the storage. I don't know yet, though. Maybe down there. Maybe down there. I also need to make a quarry at some point. Um, Get more resources. It's all about resource extraction. Like the world. Um, I was just listening to a podcast about the pricks, uh, countries and like their expansion stuff. Very, very interesting, very informative. Uh, also about like the dynamics of this. Um, just made me think about the resource extraction. Either way, uh, got a got a job more wood. I wonder if these would ever become. I think. They don't, right? Like, I think I would have to plant it myself, and then they would become trees. They won't um, regrow by themselves, maybe? I don't know. Someone Google it, or know it, and tell me in the comments. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, so yeah, I was talking about parasocial relationships generally, right? And uh, I really hate parasocial relationships. Um, I, I can't, I can't bear them to be honest um like when a youtuber becomes too popular you know like it's like a hundred thousand subscribers i'm like okay i'm out of here now <laughs> i mean obviously that's not not really true not a hard and fast rule but um yeah i don't i don't want to have like 
feelings as if I have a relationship with someone. Like, you know, I'll simulate a relationship, obviously, intellectually. I know I don't. But I still might have the feelings of like, oh, this person's really nice. Yeah, they're like, they feel like a friend. Maybe even closer than some people I, I actually consider friends. Maybe they should be acquaintances. But um, if if you get these feelings for that are very like, I mean, real, obviously, but not reciprocated because this just, I mean, there's no chance comparison doesn't even know you. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's icky to me. It's, uh, it makes me feel uncomfortable about the situation. And so I, I try to avoid this because uh, I am aware that it can happen to me. I, I'm not like above this or anything. Reminds me of that Smith song. Um, I will not remember it right now. Uh, I, I will, I will tell you next time I've used to really love, I mean, I still love the Smith, but, um, yeah, anyways, they have a, a song where it's like, uh, about the, about a music star and their fan, and it's kind of like Chuck's to post in a very interesting way. I forget, I'm sorry, I, I don't remember. But yeah, so this is, this is a thing that I was thinking about while I was there, and I was thinking about other things too, where, um, in, in some ways, I do actually, I, I, I didn't really feel like I fit in. I mean, maybe a lot of the people who came to just support friends uh, felt that way. I don't know. Uh, but I, because I, I was talking about Steppenwolf a uh, while ago, and I was kind of like thinking of it at the same time, how I kind of like re related to the main character in, in, in that situation. Even though, I, like I said, I don't think he's like a very likable person. Uh, I could kind of like see to myself like actually in a way like looking down on fans of this right like being being kind of mm, I don't know like surely there's better pursuits why why are people liking this or whatever which um I think is quite snobby I mean I think it's probably not fair really but still I can't like help uh having these thoughts sometimes so yeah i was kind of thinking about that like being in the in the wrong situation or in, in like in a in a, a very fish out of water situation which kind of also interesting right because like obviously there's a massive concert and uh our friend was performing there and everything and still like you know the the kind of um uh, drive to do one's own life only through your own eyes made me basically just think it's like well how is this related to me um but you know we're we're here in my on my youtube channel so here it is actually perfectly sensible <laughs> for me to talk about how i felt uh either way um also i, I wanted to make a, a a video about youtube channel and like how in some ways youtube is kind of detrimental to me as a consumer and still making videos about this and like i mean you could also play into this not that i have any people who have parasocial relationships with me like i said most of the people who maybe watch it are friends and then some random people which i appreciate and i hope they get something out of it but i don't think anyone has parasocial relationship with me but theoretically um what is like the ethical considerations of doing something that is kind of detrimental to you and that you actually dislike a lot in terms of uh, parasocial relationships uh creating something that could potentially create this uh might be an interesting video i don't know might be a bit navel gazy but so is most things oh saving world that's great always want the world saved okay uh i do really wish like this game would just work a little bit better right like Let's see. I don't have that much wood yet for considering how long I'm I've been working. Mm. But yeah. I'm still thinking whether I should at some point maybe buy a PC, but oh, it's so expensive and then I'd have to like deal with it. And um, <laughs> my friend Painage reminded me of my rant about Windows, which I'm not going to repeat, but yeah, a bit of a problem. 
let me see we're not we're not making much progress we're all still like at the start of the notes like we're going on tangents left and right um very meandering which is fair enough you know we're, we're hitting on different many different points and we're doing hardcore minecrafting we're getting so much wood and apples apples too not that many apples only three apples so far uh, where were we? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, it's uh, not centered, yeah. Oh, yeah, so the music was kind of more serviceable, but, and, uh, but more important. Oh, what is this? A bee? A honeybee? Are you a honey friend bee? Are you going to sting me? No, you won't. You're a good friend. You can see. Bye-bye. So cute, right? And it can fly. I wish I could fly. I guess if I cheated, I could fly. Look how cool it looks. I've not seen a bee before. This is new to me. I think. Ooh, more bees. And a honey. Oh, I guess like I could steal their honey, but that would be that would be offend like real bad. I wouldn't do that. We saw my friends. Maybe in a survival situation. The honey's dropping on me. They can't blame me for that. Delicious. Alright. Good, good, good. Um, let's see. I'm already at 21 minutes. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to cut it here. I don't want to make like a 30 or 40 minute video. I'm going to cut it. And I'm actually going to just record immediately after so we're going to wrap this up uh in the next episode <laughs> three three parter uh bear with me either way thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next one you stay spooky friends <laughs>